Hey, here, come on, let's go. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I ain't no rush. Oh, I'm not trying to rush you, Billy. It's just a long ride to where that friend of mine is. We ain't got nothing but time, Swade. Besides that, uh, that friend of yours, what's, what's his name? Newton. Jake Newton. Yeah, what well, if we don't run into him? Plenty of other places we can head. Hey, what do you say, Patrick? About time you're getting here to the uh, business. Afternoon, Billy. Swade. What are you boys doing in town? It's Wednesday. They call a holiday out at the ranch? <laughs> no, not exactly. As uh, a matter of fact, is I just stopped in here to say goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah, I quit my job, Patrick. Me and Swade here, we both uh, quit. Uh, we're heading out of Lincoln right now. Quit, huh? Why? Oh, ever since Tunnel left on his trip east, that foreman of his out there has been riding too high for my money. I took all I'm going to take. He's done nothing but lean on both of us. It's a funny thing, Billy. You never had any trouble out of Tunnel's place. Not until Swade here joined the outfit. Now, come on, Patrick. Don't pick on Swade there. That foreman's been riding both of us. Uh, where you headed? Well, Swade here knows an outfit down by the border just starting up. Uh, we thought we might ride down and look it over. That's right. Ain't nothing in this town for us no more. Right, Billy? Yeah, so I might see you in a month or so, Patrick, after Tunnel gets back here. Billy. Billy, that uh, job out of Tunnel has helped keep you out of trouble this past year. I'm not so sure you can stay that way out on your own. I never minded little trouble, Patrick. You all know that by now. Place. Oh, it's about another mile or so. Jake, he's usually camped in an old line shack back up on the hill. Line shack? But like you said he was starting up an outfit. Well, he is. Here. You two ought to be all I need. I thought, uh, thought you were starting a big outfit up here. <laughs> you might call it that. I might, huh? What, uh, what would you call it? Didn't Swade fill you in? I want you to meet Jake, Billy, so you could hear for yourself. Hear what? Tell him what the setup is, Jake. There are men across the Texas border. They like these New Mexican steers. They don't ask me where I get them. <laughs> and I don't ask them what they do with them. <laughs> Rustler, huh? That's kind of a quick way to rope, ain't it, Jack? Not the way I work it, kid. I plan everything real careful. We work fast, and we split up after every job. The ranchers never know what hit them. Well, which way to look? You say we. What happened to the other riders that uh, rode with you? <laughs> they got themselves caught because they wouldn't listen to me. Rode into El Paso and started throwing their money around. Stupid. Now, neither of you fellas strikes me that way. You sure kept a lot from me, Swade. I ain't so sure I liked it. Well, I was only trying to do you a favor, Billy. I just figured that I couldn't explain it like Jake. And I ain't asking you to jump into nothing, kid. Except from what I heard about you, it seems a shame you figure on punching cows with chicken feet. You ride with me, and I'll show you what easy living is like. Real easy. Beats roping cattle for Tundle. Why don't you give it a try, Billy? No harm in that. And it ain't like you got to do it all your life. 
couple more years, I'll have enough dough stashed away in a Mexican bank so I can ride down there for good and live like a king. But it's up to you, kid. I like what I hear about you, but uh, there's plenty of others that want in with me. Getting late. Bunk down and sleep on it. We'll talk again in the morning. Yeah, I think it over, Billy. a chance to settle down. We can move in on him right now. No. I wanted Jake Newton for better in four years now. If I let him slip through this time, folks around La Cruces will be figuring on getting another sheriff. I like my job. Near as I can figure, he's only got two men with him. Another hour or two, they'll all be asleep. We can slip in that cabin and take him without firing a shot. Now you go tell the others to wait for my signal. Then you circle around back. Take a couple of men with you. And remember, no slip-ups. Right. Now, look, I'm telling you, Sheriff, you're making a big mistake here. Sure, you said that all the way in here. Well, now, look, I didn't give you no trouble, did I? Did you sway it here? We just rode in to see Newton last night. You know, I could have taken a couple of your men with me, Sheriff, if I'd have had something to run from. You really expect me to believe that, eh? Well, ask him. Uh. The day I believe anything Jake Newton says, I'll turn in this bed. Well, now, look, Sheriff, now, listen. My name is Bonnie, William H. Bonnie. My friend's name here is Swade Heine. You can check on both of us in Lincoln. Bonnie? You the one they call Billy the Kid? Yeah, they call me that sometimes. Looks like we made us a real haul, Si. What I heard of you, kid, you're the kind would ride with Newton. Oh, now, wait a minute. Look, Sheriff. Will you, will you get a hold of Pat Garrett up in Lincoln, and he'll tell you. We ain't been out of Lincoln County long enough to tie up with Newton here. We ain't got no telegraph here, kid. And it's a long ride up to Lincoln. You wouldn't be trying to delay things, would you? All I'm asking, Sheriff, is that you try. You just try to find out the truth, all right? I'll do that, kid. I'm sorry I got you into this, Billy. We'll get out of here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you got a lot to laugh about, ain't you, Jake? Now, what makes you think that sheriff is really going to check with Pat Garrett? And if he don't, I've got company walking up them steps to that rope. <laughs> has been riding into town all day. They're up to something. They know we got Newton. He stole cattle from every one of them. They're working themselves up to a lynching. Were well, you going to talk to him? Already did. They know I figured to hold Newton and his men till the circuit judge gets here next week. Well, that's a long time. This keeps up outside and there won't be nobody here to have a trial. You know the road to Lincoln? Sure. Get up there and tell Pat Garrett I need some help. Do you want help or do you believe the kid's story? Either way, I'd like to see Pat Garrett here. Well, that's a day's hard ride both ways. Suppose they try something outside. I'll handle that. Now you get going. You got a long wait all by yourself, son. Let me worry about that. Now you just ride. In case any of you got any ideas, you'll be facing this. As yeah, well, long as I represent the law around here, I aim to see it done proper. Now go on home. They don't like you in this town, do they, Jake? Why should they? Their money I've been living off of for a long time now. Billy, look, that sheriff, you think he might turn us over to them? <laughs> them ranchers get tough enough, he just might. 
Look, don't it bother you none, Jake. Don't it bother you. Sure. I keep thinking of that money down in Mexico. They hang me and it's gonna sit in that bank forever. Mm, that's too bad. Oh, Billy, you been up before a judge, ain't you? Yeah, but not on a hanging charge. I don't figure to do it now, neither. Yeah, well, maybe you figured wrong this time. Garrett. You found him. I'm up from Las Cruces. Cy Claver. He needs you bad. That's trouble. Jake Newton. Cy, me, and a posse rounded him up last night. Well, good for you. Now, wait a minute. You don't understand. The town wants to hang him. They don't want to wait for the circuit judge to get back. Now, Cy's holding up that town by himself. And having a kid along with Newton makes it worse. Kid? What kid? Billy Bonney, the kid. He's been riding with Newton, got himself caught. Well, that's impossible. Billy Bonney left here just two days ago. So it's true. What's true? The kid, he said something about that, but nobody believed him. The rancher's breaking in that jail. He's not going to get a chance to explain it to him. Look, you grab yourself a cup of coffee while I round up a deputy to take over here. Right. Maybe now I can get some sleep. That sheriff did send for Gary Jake. He'll clear Billy and me. I should have your luck. How about that, old Patrick, huh? You'll tell him. I, uh, I wish there was something we could do for you, Newton. All right. I believe you. But the fact remains, Billy Bonney was with Newton when we got him. And for that, he'll have to stand trial. I'm not arguing with you, but I'll testify for him. You better do a good job. The mood this town's in. Let me see him. That's all. Sam, let's get us some breakfast and keep an eye on the street and the cafe. Sure thing. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. Sure, glad to see you here, boy. You should be. All right, Patrick. No lecture. Just let me and Swade out of here, will you? Not that easy, Billy. What are you talking about? I'll have to appear as a witness for you at the trial. Don't joke with me, Patrick. I'm not joking. Billy, I'm not the sheriff here. I don't have the authority to turn you loose. The charges against you have to be heard in court. In court? In this town? You see those people out there, Patrick? The way they feel now, you think we're going to stand any kind of a chance with a jury of theirs? By the time the trial starts, they'll be calmed down. Thought you came here to help me not see me hang. I told you I'd testify on the facts. That you clear both of you. Well, what makes you think they're going to listen to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shut up that laughing. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess. And how do I know the posse didn't follow you to where I was? If it wasn't for you, I might not even be here! Take your hands off from me! All right, you two, that's enough. That's enough. You heard me, break it up. That's better. I, uh, thought it over, Patrick, and I'm getting out of here just as soon as you open the door for us. I mean... Don't be a fool, Billy. Sheriff here forgot to look at my boot top when he locked us up, Patrick. 
They'll hang you for sure. They're going to catch me first. Now, come on, open. Billy, I gave you credit for more sense. You put that thing away, you got a chance. If you don't, you're playing a dead man's hand. I don't want to cause any more trouble, Patrick. But I got no choice now. Now, don't make me pull this trigger. Because you know I will. Now, unlock the door. Turning back, I'll come after you myself. I'll leave your gun right outside. You come after me, you're going to need it. You ready, kid? Yeah. There are horses across the street. Sure. We gotta get them before they cross over. Let's go, boys. See you around, Pat. The border's down that way. I know that, and so does any posse following us. Besides, a sail rock down that way is going to hide our trail. The kid's right. Come on. After us, they're gonna look over half the territory. Come on, let's go, let's go. I'll go when I'm ready, kid. Jake, this fella Garrett can spot a false trail a mile off, and he has a grudge with me. Ah, uh, I never did caught into that Garrett. You think he's smart enough to catch up with us, Billy? What are you kidding? Well, then, if that's so, why don't we just wait for him? Uh, behind those rocks, and when he shows up. Yeah, we might as well get this over with now. Maybe you didn't hear me right, Newton. I say we're going to ride right now. I heard you, kid. I'm staying here. If I got to kill Pat Garrett to get him off my tail, I'm going to pick my own place to do it. Uh, Jake's right, Billy. It's the best way. Nobody's bushwhacking Pat Garrett not so long as I'm standing here. What's eating you, kid? I'm just telling you, Newton. Sure, kid. We'll go, <laughs> if that's the way it's got to be. Now! <sighs> I ought to kill both of you. But I got something better in mind for you. I'll leave both of you for Garrett. We'll leave the horses, give us a chance. You 
should have listened to me, Jack. You'd be catching up with me. It wasn't hard. He left a clear trail from where you shot Swade and Newton. You got him? No, I turned him over to the posse. That sheriff coming after me? Ah, uh, just me. I, I'll make a deal with you. No deal. They was going to ambush you. Kill you. So? You forget you've seen me. I won't bother you. I'll go south to Mexico. You just forget. Are you telling me that you saved my life? Yeah, something like that. No deals. I told you. I told you, Patrick. I never rode with Newton. You know that? You broke jail. You helped Swade and Newton to escape. Now you're asking me to break the law. Patrick. No deals. Don't make me kill you, Patrick. Billy, give me that gun. I'll kill you, Patrick. So help me. Oh. Now, you can't do this to me. I not only can, I am. Besides, like I told you, you're in Sheriff Claver's jurisdiction, not mine. Yeah, but four weeks. Doesn't give your shoulder a chance to heal. Give you a lot of rest and quiet. I'd say that was easy at the jailbreaking. Come on, Patrick, let me out of here. Billy, you. you're very lucky. You ought to realize it. Boy, you're a fine friend. I am. And to prove it, I'll get Tundle to take you back after the sheriff here turns you loose. That's some friendship. Hey, Billy. That's a question for me, huh? When you had that gun on me the last time, would you have shot me, really? You bet I would have. I'll see it. 